So this right here is the Iron Horse Hauler. Uh, it's international, uh, I believe it's 2007. Um, basically bought it off a big iron auction. You're kind of nervous when you buy stuff like that, but uh, actually it turned out pretty good. Uh, found a, a generator. Uh, we got it mounted last week. Uh, the generator is a Honda generator. It is noisy. That's the only thing I don't like about it, but it was cheap. And we'll put it on there and get us by for this, this year. We've got the trailer wired. For 110 on here uh, when we bought this trailer it's just an old 48 foot furniture van trailer that we have done a lot of work to um, we've uh, pretty much redone the whole inside and I'll get you in there to show it one thing that we got to get figured out is how to get the truck in here the truck sets real low to the ground and then uh, these ramps are too steep for it and the oil pan is going to drag when it goes up in there so the next few days I need to figure out what I'm going to do for this here um, as we go up here in the trailer we've added tie downs to this there's two sets of tie downs to it uh, we got a 13,000 pound winch in here uh, like I said this this trailer was just a, it's been it was setting for damn near 10 years when I bought it so it needed a lot of work but we got everything working on it we've got it wired uh, wired for 110 we put living quarters in it it's got a winch in it uh, my project the last few days has been working on this in here um getting the living quarters all done in it um i actually we had a camp camper we lost in a tornado that pretty much destroyed it so uh i've just been taking the stuff out of the camper and put it in here um but it's small it's not very spacious but between here and then the, the sleeper of the truck you can sleep about six people but we got like a little dinette set in here out of the camper um and then we got a bathroom in here that i got to get finished up we probably won't get this done this year but then i have a toilet and septic and then for air we're just going to run one of these little portable units um i'm going to keep it in this little box here made and I'm, i got to get cabinets made for in here and i'm going to do all that myself just some it don't have to be pretty just something uh just something cheap that works and holds stuff so so this is the hauler and like i said when we bought this it had been sitting for about 10 years um, but we've got it all wired up now we've got all the electricity in it and uh that's ready to go as tell we i could take it out tomorrow if we wanted to the truck had been sitting here stuck all winter because uh, we had a bus of water line underneath it and it kind of sunk and we finally got that out and uh we've been working on this all week and Hopefully here in another week, the tractor block will be done and I can get started on that. But we'll see everybody in Hayward and Iowa on the 23rd and Manila on the 24th with the Naturally Aspirated Two-Wheel Drive class and the Outlaw Group. So everybody take care and have a wonderful 2023.